Welcome to a Telltale Books video. I'm Greg, and I'm continuing my H.G. Wells series here. I've backtracked way back from where I was with my reading because I hadn't done videos. And I thought, hey, H.G. Wells is my favorite author ever. I should be doing, I'm doing all these other videos of all these other authors doing videos of their complete works. Why am I not going back and covering everything by H.G. Wells? So I've gone back to do that. I'm covering everything I can get my hands on by H.G. Wells. So this video, I'm at number 12 in my bibliography of H.G. Wells. An article, which is sometimes considered fiction, titled The Man of the Year Million. Of Wells' very early articles, this is probably the most famous one because, of course, it, it's extremely speculative, very relevant to science fiction, and it's also relevant, um, although a lot of his other articles are s sort of relevant to the time machine, this one is very relevant to his ideas in the time machine because he starts speculating about the future evolution of mankind. And his speculations are really wild and really cool, but following rational lines of thought. If you read the article, he explains why he thinks man will develop this way. He has reasons for all of it. Only time can say if he's right, but his thinking is, is pretty reasonable. And so he, he um, spec, spec, Wells takes his speculation down a road where he sees the mouth becoming less important because there's less need to rip and tear and chew. And, um, so the mouth becomes this little round thing. Um, the ears become less important. We don't have the big ear sticking out. It becomes more flush with the face. The brain becomes larger, so the brain case obviously is larger, so, our, so the top of the skull becomes enlarged. Um, feet become, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Where they're, they're not really used much anymore, so they become small and kind of useless, like the arms on a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that's, that's kind of, you know, so, but their arms are massive and very powerful. And that's kind of where Wells takes us for the man of the year million. Way, way, way different than how we see ourselves or, you know, and it's actually kind of a scary idea that we could evolve that way and become something extremely different than what we are and, and how we see ourselves. That's a little difficult to face. But is he wrong? Evolution has taken some very strange directions in the past. So this is a really fascinating, really imaginative, really creative, well-written, well-thought-through, and just engrossing essay to read. Um, it's, it's definitely his best essay so far. And I'm giving this one, even though it's just a little essay, I'm giving this a top tail. This is brilliance. This is great. I love this one. And that's, that's really all I can say about it here. Have you read The Man of the Year Million? I didn't bring my book copy. It's actually in, in a copy of a book about the time machine. Um, that I that is available new. If you go on Amazon, you can find it. But um, have you read The Man of the Year Million? Please leave your comments. I want to hear what you have to say about it publicly so that everybody can read it and other people can join in the conversation about this. Um, your thoughts about Man of the Year Million, your thoughts about the future of human evolution, your thoughts about H.G. Wells are all welcome in the comments section on this video. And I, I look forward to hearing from it. 
Other than that, please like and subscribe to the video and come on back. I've got a lot more HG Wells to cover. A lot of the more exciting stuff is coming up. But the next one is still another um, essay called Province of Pain. I love his titles. They're great. And that'll be his 13th published work, and I hope you'll come back and join me. I'll be here doing these.